Beyond the fountain was a gazebo built in the shape of a birdcage. It was white lattice, freshly painted. As the breeze picked up, Jack walked toward it, hoping to sit for a moment and smoke a cigarette before finding the Packard. Jack stopped in shock, nearly inhaling the cigarette he had just put in his mouth. A woman lay face down on the bench inside the structure, her head nestled into her left arm. The blonde was poured into a slinky white dress cut high on her thighs, exposing the lacy garter belt holding up her silk stockings. Despite his shock, he enjoyed the sight of those legs, shapely and long as a summer night. A gold evening bag and high-heeled shoes lay on the grass beneath the bench. She was completely still. Asleep or passed out. He took a step closer. Or dead. He felt for a pulse and his own heart rate sped up. With a start, Jack realized he knew her. The blonde moaned and opened her eyes. They were the color of blue diamonds and just as gold. They stared at one another for a moment. Alana Maxwell sat up and pushed her hair off her face. You got another one of those? She pointed at his cigarette. Jack pulled out his pack and shook one out. Alana took it from him with cold fingers, and he lit her cigarette and then his own. She took a hit and stared at Jack. Do I know you? We met earlier at your brother's house. I'm Jack Curran from the Eyes of L.A. Stepbrother, she whispered. Her voice was fuzzy with drink. Jack smiled. Sorry, we met at your stepbrother's house. I remember. You were asking him about me. Did you follow me here, Mr. Curran? Her eyes traveled up his body from his knees to his forehead. She cleared her throat. What the hell happened to your face? <laughs>